I'm Amanda, and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making black bean and beef burritos. I love beef burritos, but what I love even more about this dish is that I get to make them right at home. We are just going to be using up some leftover ingredients that I had throughout the week in the fridge, so feel free to make some substitutions, and we've got all of our ingredients right here. We've got four whole wheat flour tortillas, one teaspoon of cumin, and two teaspoons of chili powder. We have a half pound of lean ground beef, a half cup of black beans, one cup of shredded mozzarella, one cup of Mexican rice, a half cup of corn kernels, a half cup of white onion, a half cup of red pepper, and then we've got some prepared red enchilada sauce and our salt and pepper. I love a red sauce with my burritos. Now, we're going to be using a store-bought red sauce. This is a red enchilada sauce that can be found in the Mexican aisle of the grocery store, but if you'd like to make one at home, it couldn't be easier. Just go into the Hot Plates blog, and under Mains in the Staff, you'll find ground beef burritos. Right at the bottom of that post, we have a delicious and simple recipe for making your own. Now that we've got all of our ingredients ready, we're going to be giving you the next steps from the stove. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil to high heat. Then add your beef and start breaking it up with the side of a wooden spoon and continue to cook for about five to six minutes until it's fully browned. Then we're gonna be adding our onions, our red peppers, black beans, and corn. Start sauteing it on half the pan and then completely combine the beef with all of those vegetables. Next, we're gonna be adding our chili powder and our cumin. Stir that all together and season it all up with salt and pepper. Then add your Mexican rice. Next, pour in half of the red sauce that we have. Stir until everything's combined and simmer for about two to three minutes. Next, add a quarter cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese and stir until it gets all nice and gooey. Now we've got our burrito filling all ready to go. Now that our filling's all ready, we're ready to start making our burritos. So we've got a good spoonful of our ultra cheesy burrito filling here. Woo! And next, we're just gonna be grabbing it from the edges and pull in all of our fillings and just fold it right over. There we go. We've got our burritos all rolled up and in our baking sheet. We've preheated our oven to 350 degrees. Now before we keep going, it's important to note that this actually makes a lot of burrito filling. And a great way to use it up is to keep it in the fridge overnight and then to stuff it inside peppers and bake it the next day. Now that we've got our burritos into our baking dish, we're just going to be topping them up with some of our red sauce. And then sprinkling it with our remaining cheese. Next, cover the dish tightly with tin foil. Then we're going to pop it into the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes until the cheese is all melty and bubbly. Our burritos are all ready. They're gooey. They're cheesy. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's just spilling out of the center. I'm so excited to get a nice bite of this. Mm. Look at that cheese. Mm. Oh, that cheese, you've got a smokiness from the chili powder and that enchilada sauce, a good heartiness from all that beef and those black beans that we put in there. This burrito is killer, so easy to make at home. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate, guys. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes at thehotplate.net and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.